So hello everybody and welcome to 25 days of Dax Friday's challenge. If you're not sure what that is, just go down below in the description box and check all the details. It's never too late to participate. If you're here for a solution for day 13 or you want to know how I did it, this is the video for you. Let's get started. So ladies and gentlemen, day 13, the question was how many lost customers do we have in 2021? Now, this is very similar to what we did yesterday. You can actually calculate it pretty much the same way. There are an, also a million ways to do it. I'm just going to show you something that is very easy to understand, okay? So first, define the problem. How many lost customers in 2021? Lost customer is a customer that has not purchased anything in 2021, okay? So first without DAX, then with DAX. Now, to do this without DAX, we're going to do the same way we've been doing. How many customers, how many customers, customers, we're going to grab the customers from the order table because we want to do the calculation on the order table. So how many customers have not purchased anything? So the order date have not purchased anything. So the last order date should be before 2021. So we're going to put the order date in there. And then we're going to grab the last, so the last order date for each customer should not be in 2021. It means that the last order date on the filter pane is on or before the, you know, um, the last day of 2021, right? Apply. So these two customers' last day it was in 2020. It means that they haven't purchased anything in 2021, which means that we have lost them, right? Now, how do we do this with DAX? And again, this is going to be fairly similar as to what we did yesterday. I just want you to you know, do it again, think about the question, and then hopefully set it in the concept. So the first thing that we're going to calculate, as we did yesterday, is we're going to go day 13. We're going to calculate what is the last date a customer purchased something, okay? So the last date, there is a last non-blank value, which does exactly the same as yesterday, but instead of getting the first, it gets the last. So the last blank value of order customer ID where the max date, you know, before yesterday, we want to have the minimum date, so the earliest. Now we want to have the latest, so we're going to have the max order date. So this is going to give us a list of customers where with the last order date. So we're going to go to customers and we're going to put day 13, right? And this is the last date a customer purchased something, the last order they have placed. And you can see here that these two, it was last year. So now we're going to do the same thing that we did yesterday. We're going to create a table because if we do bigger than or less than in um, in the DAX measure is going to give us a wrong round total. So we've seen that through the 25 days challenge. We don't want that. So we're going to create a table for that. So we go in here and then we're going to summarize our order table with order customer ID our last purchase, right? Which is the thing that we just did. And this is going to give us a table that we had without DAX. It's going to give us a customer ID and the purchase, the last purchase date. We want to filter it by today's date, right? So exactly the same thing, you grab the variable. What is January 1st? So it's the date. We're going to create the date where year, of today, so today for me is the 29th of November, right? So the year to the 29th of November 2021 is 2021. 
But I want the first day, right? So that's the way, one of the million ways to get it. Return. And now we're going to filter the summarize table that you see there, where the last purchase, and you want to have the column, right? The column of this table, so that's the one, is smaller or equal than, I think yesterday I forgot the equal, probably. January 1st. I don't think it doesn't matter because no, nobody is on the date, but I think I forgot it actually. Um, now that we have this table, this result, we need to count the number of customers. So it's just count the number of rows, right? So we can go back to our solution day 13, paste that table that we just created and do the count, right? And that is going to give us two customers, and those two are the customers. I want to have it as a card. And there you go. Okay, quite a nice trick, right? Obviously, you're going to calculate customers, lost customers, retained customers, and all that stuff. It depends on what period you want, and you can make that period dynamic. There are tons of solutions online. Just speak what you need, but if you just need the basics, this is quite a neat way because it's so easy to see what's going on. So let me know on the comment box how you solved it. Let me know how you're doing in the challenge, and I will see you again with day 14 tomorrow. Take care. Bye.